work out heaps better. Welcome back. Whew. All right, now it's very later in the day. I've actually finished work. What's his today? Today's Thursday. No, today's Tuesday. Oh God. Right, today is Tuesday. I've finished work. It is now 10 to 2. I have to make this quick because I'm currently going to an appointment at, it is called the Arctic Studio. Um, this is a flotation cryotherapy infrared sauna studio and I'm actually going in for the flotation tank so I have done this before and I was heavily pregnant I believe with Ari could have I could have went with um, Chloe as well but the flotation is um, give you a quick rundown so it's a, a like a big tank and then it's got 500 um, kilos of Epsom salts and then you literally just float in the thing it's incredible um, and I believe it's like it gives you um, the ability to feel like you've had an, a good eight hour sleep this woman needs all the sleep in the world so last week I ended up parenting solo for the week and it was uh, it was a hard week. It was very challenging and I just believe that uh, the kids really noticed Lucas being away. So I am extremely tired. The fighting was unbelievable. Whew. Anyway, so this um, flotation device is just what I need. Um, I usually do the Tuesday half days at work. So I'm very excited. I'm going to quickly go now because they do a little bit of a, a uh, instruction, a little bit of guidance into like how to use the flotation device it has been quite a few years since i've been so i'm going to um that for now i have a voucher from the family that is for mother's day so i'm going to go to the appointment and then i've got a few other things that i need to do before i head home i have a really delicious recipe that i'm going to be cooking for dinner tonight i'll share that with you guys if you're interested it is like a, a bruschetta chicken bruschetta yeah so it smelled delicious i've already got it marinating in the fridge at the moment um, i had all the ingredients bar the basil and extra garlic which i have to pick up when i finish my appointment so stop babbling go to the appointment and i'm going to bring you guys along so let's go <laughs> and it was it was really good i just i couldn't switch off today i don't know what it is i don't know whether it's just me i find it a little bit hard to relax i'm currently holding you because the sun is like smashing through the front rim screen i just stopped into um it's a little ice creamery just in our local town it's called the blue cow gelato incredible i haven't actually tried one of their ice lattes i was just feeling like a coffee but because i'm really hot i just wanted to get something nice it's got a little bit of vanilla underneath um, 
that was optional. I chose to have it just for something a little bit extra. I really didn't need it, but just stirring it. Anyway, so whew, I'm so hot. It was good. It was good, the float. I uh, just don't know if it was a day for me. I got to the, about the 50 minute, so it's a 60 minute session. It was, we got to about the 50 minute and I was just, I was over it. I actually ended up getting some salt in my eyes. If you get Epsom salts in your eye, it's not a good time. It stung so bad. I ended up having to go and grab the washer to quickly dry my eyes. So I had to open up the tub quite a few times, but I ended up just putting the washer over the side because I kept getting it in my eyes. I foolishly just didn't think about it. I did that last time I was in there, so I should know better. I was like scratching my face and then it would drip into my eyes. It's so... <laughs> So painful, anyway, so it's now about 3.25, so it's school pickup now. I really just don't like being in the traffic, so I'm just gonna go back my home way, duck into the IGA, pick up those few things. I need to get some antibiotics for my perial dermatitis, which is clearing up so well. It used to be very red and very raw around here. It's still a little bit, but it is so much better than what it actually was. I'm very hot at the moment because it's actually a very hot day to here today. So because the sun's smashing through the car, that's why I'm a little bit hot. But anyway, we're going to um, jet off now. Go and get those things from IGA. And then I have a few things that I need to do at home, hopefully, before I've got to get the kids. So not enough hours in the day these days, so let's go. and I have the kids with me. Hi. 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 And I've just made up this little extra batch of the, um, the bruschetta. So it comes with the, ba the basil. Where is it? Basil and the garlic was what I need to add. So let me flick you around. Okay, that looks a bit better. So the fresh basil looked terrible at the shop. So I ended up picking up this one because I just felt like the other one just was not very fresh. So that was my better option. Yeah. And then I chose some of the <coughs> organic garlic. And that is what we're going to top our chicken with. So my chicken is over here. It's still marinating. Um, I'm going to link the recipe in my description box below. So then if you want to try it. But I'm going to bath the kids. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. I'm just about to put these in the oven. Um, and then I'll show you what it's like. And then for the kids, I've got some leftover chicken and rice from last night. So I just pre-cooked the chicken and rice and I'm just going to serve up there so because they're not going to eat the chicken that I am cooking for Lucas and I so I, I'd rather them just eat something that I know they're going to eat so I'll portion up now and then I'm going to bath them so and we're going to have some dinner Ow.
Wednesday and it's the 23rd of August and I don't want to get too excited but when I got up this morning and came outside it felt warm not warm but like not as cold as it has been so I'm excited because I love summer love summer I'm getting excited for the warmer weather it's just when I'm more energetic just in general because you know we're feeling like we want to get outside whereas I just I hate feeling cold I hate feeling that freezing cold it's not it's not my vibe anyway I wanted to do a little review on the strawberry um, naked harvest pre-workout that I bought um, I have it here originally when I first um, tried it it I forgot because it had been such a long time since I'd actually tried it so I obviously made it and then when I drank it straight away it just was weird didn't love it so then the next time I made it I thought I'd let it sit for a bit and that was the key because you're letting the actual powder dissolve whereas originally it was not dissolved properly so it just tasted like like it, it would just tasted sort of like water but with like a weird taste to it it's the only way i can explain it i don't know that's not a very good explanation but um yeah i really do like the strawberry so thanks for the little hot tip monique if you're watching um it's been yeah a while since i've used the pre but in regards to using the pre-workout heaps better incredible i was only just saying to the trainer how i'm actually burning more calories but i have so much more energy like i just can push because i do hit classes I can just push that extra bit because we do quite a few um, different exercises and usually like we're about 40 seconds on and you know you're going pretty hard for that 40 seconds and you, you just feel like you can push that last 10 seconds out and, and I'm feeling the benefits I'm feeling heaps stronger I've, I've been feeling stronger anyway just in general but the pre-workout has been working for me I have however been feeling a little bit uh, what would you say nauseous afterwards but is that because I'm working harder maybe I feel like maybe because I'm working harder it's sort of making me feel like 
Um, I can push that harder, so then you know you generally feel a little bit sick after you actually do a, a, like a heavy duty workout. So I yeah highly rate the pre workout, and it tastes good too. So I'm very happy with the pre workout. I am early to the gym today. I, I woke a little bit early today, so it's 5:48. I'm going to go and do some stretching and a bit of a warm up before class today. Not as tired today because Lucas being home, I had him deal with Ari last night when he woke up. So go me. Anyway, I'm going to head on in, do my stretching, finish my pre, and then get on with my day. Let me capture that. Wowzers, what a session. I actually think that was the fastest I've ever, fastest? The hardest I've ever pushed myself. All right, yeah, that was a that was a hard session. I definitely pushed myself and that pre-workout I reckon does the trick for when I'm just lacking that little bit of motivation to push through. So I definitely, I, every time I try and strive in that 40 second um, exercise, I try to try and at least get up to 10 cal. But today I was in different scenarios. Like today with the rower, I was smashing it up to 16 cows and that was pushing myself so very proud of myself today i'm feeling heaps better um i'm gonna jump on the scales when i get home because i jumped on before i went to the session and it's just interesting to see if you do shed anything prior and like i don't need anyone telling me that's not the way the way to do but it's just something that um, i guess i like to do because i generally never used to like the scales but it's something that's keeping me motivated um, in just keeping on the right track with eating. So it just, it's a mental thing for me. Um, some people find it not healthy being using scales for, um, but it's, it's sort of necessary. Like if you're doing a weight loss, you need to be able to see how much weight you've lost. Like I've already, I've measured myself as well and I've been dropping the centimeters. I haven't measured myself for a little while yet. I did it for, um, before the challenge had started. So I'm doing the Collagen Co, um, challenge shake and glow challenge if anyone whoever's watching if they haven't watched any of my videos before i'm doing the shake and glow challenge with the collagen co i'm on my third week now so i have another week to go because today is wednesday um so i have another week and then i'm gonna try and get here on friday because every session counts at this particular moment um i'm up to i think about four kilos down in the last three weeks so that's fantastic um, so I'm hoping to drop at least one, maybe two more. See how we go. Because I've been, I've dropped already six prior to that. So I'm nearly under 10 kilos. So under, under 10 kilos. I've nearly dropped 10 kilos um, of fat. So I, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm very happy with where I'm up to at the moment. So huh, I don't feel like I need a coffee when I get home because I'm very pumped at the moment. So I'm going to head home. Um, say hello to the family because I left early this morning so I haven't seen anyone and then I'm gonna have a shower get ready for the day and today being a Wednesday close home with me Ari's at school and then we're gonna jet off and do something with my mum because Wednesdays when I've got Chloe I try to incorporate my mum so we'll go and get my my mum our Nana and we'll do something with her today so we always enjoy having time with Nan so I'll catch you guys when I get home
Thank you. 